guys. Little update on Lexi's pups. Here is Mr. Huckleberry. He is still very tiny. I'm not quite sure what to think about this guy here. Sweetest thing I know. But he is just not gaining weight and I don't know what more I can do. So we're just praying hard for him to like really take to the gruel so that he can beef up here a bit. And um, I think I'm gonna call my vet tomorrow and see if there's anything else that I can be doing that I'm not already. But we're still giving fluids and tube feeding and um, I started giving him um, a high calorie pace to help just put some more calories in his body. He's walking around. He does walk and stuff, but, and he doesn't seem to really be behind much of his siblings other than his weight. So I'm really praying he can just beef up here and like squeeze you. Squeeze you. And um, do well for us. I don't know if I can get him to make his cute little purr noise. He does. Come on, suppers. Let's hear the purrs. Yeah, go and do it. But yeah, he is just super tiny and we're loving on him and doing all that we can. So, it's not much more we can do than that. But I'm really, I have high hopes for him, but he's just not um, gaining as quickly as I would have liked to see him gain. So, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But that's a little update on our little huck. I'm gonna um, tube feed him here in a second. Quit a hairball. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's, he keeps fluctuating between 14 and a half and 15 ounces. He's 14.9. And he's been there for like a week. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to think. I've never had a puppy that has not thrived and done really well and he's just not nursing and I'm a little baffled by it. So we'll just keep doing what we can and hope for the best. You just peed on my table, mister. You do that every time, I should know better. I should know better, you always pee pee right on my table. I gotta clean it again. It's okay, can we feed you? Can we feed you? There we go. I know. Okay, good. Keep going. There we go. Good swallowing. Good swallowing. So he's got the tube in his in his uh, belly, and we're just gonna slowly put some nice warm milk in there for him. Oh, what's the matter? Belly feels full. Mm. Mm. I love you. I just realized. What'd you realize? My leg is sticky. Oh man, from your popsicle? I think so. Go get go get a white washcloth and clean your leg. But when is mommy going to come off? And you don't think it's gonna come off? I think it will. Here's the other three chunkaroos, and this is that pace that I've been giving um, little Huck. <laughs> Can you see Miss Lemon? Her coloring's getting darker around her face, so till her hair fully comes in, she's just gonna be so beautiful. But that's my little Miss Lemon, and she's weighing in at one pound, four ounces. So there's her. Yes, she's a good girl, aren't ya? Are you a good girl? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So good. Okay. I'll put you there. Who else gonna pee on here? And we have Mr. Blueberry. Filling out quite nicely. He is. 
one pound, 15 ounces. So we're pushing two pounds for this guy. He's gonna do a cute little brown nose. He's gonna be a fluff ball here real soon. These guys are smaller than our cockapoos just because of the breed. So we don't have them, um, their new collars on just yet. Um, these bigger two probably could fit into them, but I think we'll wait another week um, before we put them on here. And then we have Miss Clementine. Little Miss Clementine. <laughs> this little girl we're keeping for our program. She has a family um, in Ephrata that is waiting for her as long as she passes all of her um, genetic testing and all. We sent that in. So um, we'll hopefully know that in a few weeks. As long as she passes everything, we plan to keep her in our program so we can um, continue Lexi's line. And um, yeah, so she is 2.2 pounds. So she's our big, our big one, our big girl, our little chunky monk, huh? You a chunky girl? Are you a chunky girl? Yes, you are. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're so sweet. So sweet. So there's a little bit on the Pouchons. They're not quite as active yet. They are starting to just play. These two will kind of bite at each other's mouths a little bit. So once they start doing that, over the next week or so, I expect them to get pretty playful. Um, but yeah, so they are, what are you guys? Three and a half weeks, um, just about. Well, they were three weeks on um, Friday. And then our cockapoos will be four weeks on Monday. If I have that right, yes. So, yep. They're just a little bit behind the cockapoos, so they're not quite as lively yet. Plus they're just smaller, so they're, um, you know, it takes them a little bit more to get, get those little um, bursts of energy to do all those fun things. So I'm gonna put them back for mama and, um, there's a little bit on all the babies. shake our puppies. They should shake their own heads. Well, they can shake their own heads. You just can't shake them. Um, I know this was all over the place, but I just caught little tidbits and wanted to put them together for um, the Lexi pup family um, for you guys to see them. Um, a little update on Huck is that I reached out to um, our vet and they are actually going to take Huckleberry for a few days and see um, if they can do anything to just help give him an extra boost that I can't. So I will keep you all posted on how he's doing um, and um, yeah, all of his hopefully progress. <laughs> so um, I'll be back on, I'm sure in the next few days uh, with an update on that. So hope you guys all have a wonderful evening.